guys, my name is Avery and welcome back to Timeless Share. I can't wait to dive into Romans with y'all today. So if you will, turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 7 verses 13 through 19 and we'll get started. Therefore, did what is good become death to me? Absolutely not. On the contrary, sin, in order to be recognized as sin, was producing death in me through what is good, so that through the commandment, sin might become sinful beyond measure. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold as a slave to sin. For I do not understand what I am doing, because I do not practice what I want to do, but I do what I hate. Now if I do what I do not want to do, I agree with the law that it is good. So now... I am no longer the one doing it, but it is sin living in me. For I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my flesh. For the desire to do what is good is with me, but there is no ability to do it. For I do not do the good that I want to do, but I practice the evil that I do not want to do. Now, Paul writes Romans chapter 7 to kind of give a background story of his life and his struggles with sin. Now, Paul is a very faithful missionary to God. He has dedicated his life to serving God, yet he still sins. He still messes up. I mess up. You mess up. We are all sinners. Every human that has ever walked on this earth, except for Jesus, which he's not human, but he's walked on this earth, has sinned. I mean, it's just human nature, and that's the way we were made, and... We as humans are not able to perfectly abide by God's commandments that he has written in the Bible. Now, Paul tells us that he hates what he does. I mean, he hates that he sins. And it says, For I do not do the good that I want to do, but I practice the evil that I do not want to do. He doesn't want to do evil. He wants to do good, but he practices the evil because that's just our nature. So, how can we stop? I mean, not necessarily stop this, but how can we improve this? Well, the world feeds us so much information nowadays saying, oh, this sin is okay, or this is okay, but God never said it was okay to do these things. We, the world tells us these things and we believe them. What we need to know is know the word of God. Know the difference between good and evil. We will never have a clue if the world is telling us what is true or not if we don't know God's word because the devil will feed us lies on top of lies that we could be so oblivious of knowing uh, we, we would be so dumbfounded by this because we would not have a clue what God's Word says because we wouldn't know. So I have come across several different commandments that God has stated that I had no idea that God had said and commanded for us to do because the world had told me completely different. So that's why it is so important to read your Bibles. But we as humans cannot perfectly abide the commandments that were made for us to follow, but we can try our best to follow God. He just, he wants us to live for him and follow him the best of our abilities, which we we can do that. It's not easy, but we can do that just by reading our Bibles and listening to where God wants us. So I hope all of you enjoyed this today and hope to see you next time. Bye.